Like a lot of the grooves we're going to be looking at throughout this uh, video course, this next groove actually applies to a lot of different styles and genres, and this pattern can be found in a lot of different kind of what you'd call musical styles. In Spain, uh, we would call this the rumba catalan, which is from the Catalan area, uh, which is where Barcelona is. Um, we can also find this groove and utilize it within a lot of different grooves, such as pop, uh, dance music, African rhythms, world music rhythms, like a lot of Middle Eastern, Arabic music, um, and even a little bit of pop rock kind of stuff. So. It's a really basic and simple groove we're going to be looking at, and we'll look at a few different variations um, of kind of that will change the groove a bit. So we're going to be playing 4-4 um, four, four beat. Uh, that means we have four beats in a bar, and we're going to be subdividing each beat into two. So ultimately that means we'll be playing eight uh, strokes, okay, which means eight notes uh, within for the whole pattern or for, this, for, the, for one bar. And we're going to be doing straight alternation of the hands, single stroke. So that would be right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, or left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Uh, we're going to be counting one and two and three and four and, and that's one bar, and then we'll start again. One and two and three and four and. So the and is actually just our off beat or the counter beat of our actual on beat. Um, we are going to be starting um, our groove on our leading hand, which means our stronger hand. Now, for me, that's my right hand. If you're left-handed, you should start this groove on your stronger hand, which is your left hand. Um, and then if you really want to take things a bit further, you can actually learn all your grooves leading with both hands, which is just going to improve uh, your technique a lot and improve your weaker hand. Okay, so simple. We have eight notes, um, eight strokes that we're going to be doing within this pattern, and we'll just be looping it and repeating it until we learn this pattern. So we have three accents in this groove. Our first accent is going to fall on beat number one, which is going to be my right hand, so the leading hand, down on the bass. And then we're going to have our second accent, which is landing on the left hand, on the offbeat of two, or the and of two, up on the snare. And then the third and final accent for this rhythm, we're going to be placing our accent on beat four, which is going to fall on my right hand, up on the snare. Now that might sound a bit complicated, but that's why I'm going to run through these rhythms with you guys really, really slowly, and uh, just give you guys a few basic examples so you can get your head around it. Remember that the beats in between, we are still going to actually play them, but we want to play them as ghost notes. So accents and ghost notes, this is what defines our groove. So I'll give you guys a quick example of what this would sound like in speed. Again, in terms of how fast we play this groove, uh, it varies, it really would depend upon what song you're playing, so this groove can be played over a lot of different uh, tempos. So it's a good idea to kind of learn it slowly, medium tempo and fast. I'm going to give you guys an example and then we'll break it down really slowly. So basically what we're hearing is doom, da, da, doom, da, da, doom, da, da, doom, da, da. You can feel it's got like kind of bouncy, bouncy feel to it, which is pretty cool. Just don't forget to put your ghost notes in between the actual accents. This helps you a lot because it also keeps your time for you. Um, it kind of keeps your hands busy, but it also keeps that kind of cheeky, cheeky, cheeky kind of walking feeling between our main strokes or our accents, which just kind of fills up the space and makes it sound really complete and full. Let's have a little look at this beat broken down really slowly. Try this along with me. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. 
So it's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's if you're right hand lead, obviously. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four and... Three. 